C Sonic, the heart of your system. Hello, Brandy here from Kit Guru, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at another gaming chair, and it is a gaming chair from Corsair. It's their third gaming chair, they've already got a couple of others on the market, and it is the T3 Rush. So, this gaming chair is coming in as their most affordable to date. It comes in with a price tag of $249.99 here in the UK, so it's a little bit cheaper than the other models they've got available, and I would also say it's probably the better looking as well. It has a slightly more classy, sleek design and it is also coated in a nice kind of fabric material as well. This particular model has three different color variants. There is a charcoal edition, there is a gray and charcoal edition, and I am taking of course a look at the gray and white edition which you can see next to me here. To start off the review though, let's jump back in time and see how I found the assembly of this chair. The chair arrived well packaged in a large box and I got to work getting the box open and removing all of the components. Each piece was covered in plastic wrapping and foam, which meant that it all arrived safely. The instruction booklet was clear and easy to understand, so I got to work on the first step. I inserted the five wheels into the wheelbase, each requiring a firm push. The gas lift went in next and I slipped the plastic cover over the top before putting the completed base to one side. I unpackaged the seat of the chair and had a good feel of the new fabric before flipping it over and removing the four screws used to attach the seat control base. This was a slightly annoying extra step and I wish they had come separately, but using the supplied Allen key it didn't take much time at all. I lined up the mechanism with the base and reinserted the four screws. The next step in the manual was to attach the chair back, but this seemed like a strange order to construct the chair in, and it is different compared to other chairs that I've built. The control mechanism I had just attached made the seat wobble around on the floor and I found it much easier to insert the gas lift section first to hold the seat still while I attached the back of the chair. The four screws once again came pre-attached and I removed them with the same supplied tool before lining up the back of the chair with the seat. One thing I liked about the assembly of this chair is that all the screws went into place reasonably easily. Sometimes I find it very difficult to line them up, but I simply use my hands to start screwing them into place. I then use the Allen key to tighten them all up securely. There are two plastic covers to hide the hinges and I attach them both using a single screw for each. The holes are then disguised with a rubber plug. The final step was to place the lumbar pillow into the seat and then attach the neck pillow using an elastic strap. Overall, it was a pretty easy process and took me about 20 minutes to construct. One thing that I think is worth addressing at the start of this video is just about kind of gaming chairs in general. So this is Corsair's third gaming chair and I must admit it looks very very similar to the ones they already have. The T1 and the T2 both have that kind of sporty racing style bucket seat design that you see a lot of gaming chairs have pretty much the exact same sort of features and overall kind of like look to them. However there's something that I've noticed and that is with the pricing and things and also the different companies 
companies and manufacturers and things out there, they all do have subtle differences between them. For example, this Corsair chair feels very different to a Secret Labs, a Noble chair, or even the Sharkoon chair that I just reviewed. You at home might not be able to see those kind of subtle differences, and I do kind of tell you about the different features and things in the review, but I definitely thought it was something worthwhile because I think a lot of people say to me, oh, they look like they come out of the same factory and they've all got like a different manufacturer's logo on them. But I must admit, even if they do come out in the same factory, it's quite easy to tell how much that manufacturer has had kind of input on the overall designing process. And the finished result can actually vary quite a lot, even though in pictures and things, they do tend to look the same. So to start off my review of this Corsair chair, I just thought it was quite good to clear something up uh, with gaming chairs in general, as I have noticed a difference, even though they do look the same. And I'll start off with the comfort of this chair. So when it comes to the overall comfort, uh, it does feel like a very comfortable chair to sit in. In general, you'll find that gaming chairs tend to be a little bit hard to start with, and it's something I've noticed with a lot of the slightly more premium chairs, is the foam that they use is like, kind of like upholstery, proper like cold upholstery foam. It does take a little bit of time to kind of wear in and a lot of people do find it quite uncomfortable. This Corsair chair, however, is sort of very comfortable from the get-go. The foam is quite soft and forgiving. You don't have any kind of, of that wear in time if that's something that puts you off. However, I would say the downside to this is that the foam does feel a little bit thinner and also I imagine over time it will probably compress a bit more and you might find yourself sitting on a thinner surface basically. It's not going to be quite as supportive in like two or three years time. The overall shape of the chair is that of a bucket seat, uh, like I said already, and it is a design that you are probably well familiar with when it comes to gaming chairs. Me personally, I do like this design because I think it does feel actually quite supportive. It kind of holds you in place really well and I feel like it kind of fits me in all the right places so that I do feel comfortable when I'm gonna be sat in my chair for a long period of time. However, it is also quite restrictive as well. So I'm of kind of like a slimmer frame, but if you're someone that's larger or taller than me, I think you probably would find this chair a little bit uncomfortable because the fins and things do stick out quite dramatically and you might find yourself that they're going to be kind of digging in in areas that you don't want them to. The entire chair is coated in this really nice soft kind of upholstery fabric and I must say this is one of the first things that I noticed and really liked about this chair and it's something that adds to the overall comfort in general because when it comes to having a fabric chair over a uh, PU leather chair you don't get that kind of like horrible sticky feeling and it is a much more breathable fabric in general. However obviously the downside to this is that I don't think it's as easy to clean. If you get any marks or stains on this chair like the fabric itself course I don't mention that has any kind of like anti-stain coating or anything it's going to be more difficult to get those marks and things off particularly as this is the gray and white chair as well it's quite pale in coloration so you might find it slightly more difficult to clean but overall I must say the fabric they've used does feel very high quality it's very soft and it is something that you'd maybe find on quite a sort of expensive or high-end sofa or if you're in America I guess it's called a couch. As you saw during the assembly part of the video, this chair does come with two removable pillows. So you've got the neck pillow at the top here, which is attached using an elastic strap, and you've also got the lumbar pillow down the bottom here. The lumbar pillow, I must say, I do really, really like this. It's made of a very nice kind of soft memory foam, and it is nice and soft and forgiving. I find some lumbar pillows can be a little bit hard and uncomfortable. This pillow, however, is really nice, and I also really like the fabric that it's coated in. It's that really soft velvety material and it also has a zip on the back as well so if you wanted you could remove it and kind of shove it in the wash. The neck pillow, uh, I do like the shape of it. I think it's a really nice shape. It makes it comfortable to use. Some neck pillows on other chairs I found are a little bit too large. They don't really do a very good job. This one is pretty good at that. However, I think it looks a little bit mismatched. It has kind of like the cross stitching on it which isn't found anywhere else on the chair and also as well the filling inside just kind of spills out it does have a zip on it so you can unzip it and I thought maybe you could wash it but unfortunately it's just kind of some foam filling in there and when you unzip it it all just kind of falls out of it uh, so in that case it's not very good however the pillows in general I do think add some overall support to this chair and do make it more comfortable to use. 
Having a good amount of adjustability on a chair is what also helps to really sort of contribute to the comfort because you can move it up and down depending on what setup or desk you have or also what kind of suits you as a person as well with the different height and recline and things. Uh, with this chair you do get the same amount as you find on other chairs and that is a good amount basically. You've got lots of different options when it comes to moving the chair into different positions. On the right hand side you've got the handbrake style lever and you can recline this chair all the way back to like 180 degrees so you're completely led flat on your back if you unlock the rocking tilt mechanism you can then tilt it back that little bit further and you're actually kind of sitting upside down with your head kind of below your feet almost like a bat I don't know if anyone's really into that but the option is there if you want it however I did find if you kind of mess around on it uh, and push it a little bit too far you can actually end up on the floor and I found that out the hard way because I was kind of messing around I pushed it that bit too far and you do tilt back Backwards, unfortunately so there's probably not a real reason why a chair would go back that far but the option is there if you want it I guess and like I said you can unlock the kind of rocking tilt mechanism and you can also rock the chair back and forwards if you wanted to as well kind of rock yourself to sleep have a little nap in between games uh, with the chair itself you can adjust the height as well so the chair can be adjusted by 10 centimeters the lowest setting I actually found is a little bit too short for me uh, I tend to have found that it's most comfortable in kind of the middle range setting I'm five foot seven so I think the lowest setting will probably be for people about five foot five and then maybe the highest setting and sort of up there will be suitable for people around six foot etc so it is going to suit a decent range of heights and things as well it also does have a adjustable armrests. So the armrests on this chair are 4D adjustable and you adjust them using uh, different buttons to move them inwards and outwards. You can angle them in and out, you can move them up and down and also move them forwards and backwards as well. The armrests themselves, I do quite like the design of them because they are uh, do you have like a carbon coating to them they're the same armrest as what I found on the T2 Warrior Corsair chair however I do think the carbon effect really goes with the overall design because there is no other carbon sort of accents on this chair they made more sense on the T2 because I had other carbon parts on this chair they do look a little bit odd I think they'd maybe look a little bit better if they're just sort of plain black also the overall build quality of them isn't particularly good they're definitely an improvement over the armrest on the T2 like once again Corsair have obviously made a slight change because the T2 armrests were really really wobbly. These armrests are much more stable however they are really stiff to adjust and once again I do think they're not quite as good quality as kind of the rest of the chair and they do definitely let it down a little bit. The build quality is actually something I feel is probably kind of the main downside to this chair as well. It is a cheaper chair compared to other variants of gaming chairs that are out there. £250 is kind of hitting at around the middle point of the market because you do have the more premium chairs that are around £300 and you do have the more budget chairs that are around £150-£180. So Corsair have made this a slightly more affordable chair but like I say I think it does definitely show. The overall frame does feel a lot more lightweight. The foam is isn't quite as dense as and as comfortable and stuff like the armrests I don't particularly think they feel that good either and I'm not a fan that it has a plastic base an aluminium base I just think makes the chair feel that little bit more premium it feels a little bit more sturdy and I also feel like it's probably gonna last longer as well for some reason they've opted to go for a plastic base uh, a budget chair I recently reviewed actually had an aluminium base so I don't know why Corsair have gone for a plastic base um, it, it does have the kind of benefit that you have the white accent on it um, but in general I just think it kind of ruins the overall quality of the chair. I do like the wheels though, uh, the, the wheels on the T2 that Corsair did were kind of rollerblade style wheels and I really think they kind of ruin the chair because you roll around that little bit too easily and I found it rather annoying. The wheels on this chair are much better, they glide nicely and they also feel nice and kind of sturdy as well. However, I must say the upholstery on this chair and the overall look of it is very, very good though. It does definitely look the part when it comes to kind of build quality and things. And it is somewhere where I think Corsair does really excel. When you look at their cases, their keyboards, all the kind of RGB, the white and things, they do make really nice looking components. And I don't think this chair is any exception to that. I think it looks great in front of my setup. It's a really nice kind of coloration. However, I think there's a few errors they probably could have made a few 
improvements for example i don't particularly like that the two pillows that it comes with are just kind of like a generic black color they're the same color as you get with like any gaming chair that's out there and with the gray and white design i think it would look much nicer to have kind of matching gray pillows and just make this chair stand out a little bit more and just not look like another generic gaming chair basically I also noticed about this chair when it comes to matching as well is that the bright white plastic on the base of the chair that kind of white accent doesn't match the slightly more creamy white on the upholstery it's kind of a small niggly thing but it is definitely something I noticed and I think it is definitely worth mentioning as well when it comes to the overall branding I think this chair is quite stylish and quite tastefully done overall Corsair have embroidered their logo onto the headrest it's on the front here and it's also on the back of the chair as well you also find a little bit Bit of Corsair branding on each of the pillows. There's a little Corsair label, label and also a little Corsair kind of uh, plug as well. The plugs that I use to cover the screws do have a Corsair logo on. So in general you can tell it is one of their chairs but I think they have done it quite well and the overall kind of stitching and embroidery etc is really done to quite a high quality. Despite the Corsair name, I must admit though, this chair does look really quite generic. You've got the Corsair branding, but you've got none of the innovation really. It is a pretty similar chair to what's already out there. And this being their third chair, I really wish they'd done something a little bit more innovative and tried to mix up the gaming chair market that little bit more and introduce something that has a different style or a different look to it or something. However, I think this style must sell really quite well. And I must admit, I do actually quite like it anyway. Uh, it is a really nice looking chair and it does look really great in front of my setup. So overall, what do I think of the T3 Rush gaming chair from Corsair? I must say in general, I do really like this chair. Most of that is to do with the way that it looks. Corsair always do really well with the aesthetic side of things. And if you've got a matching Corsair setup, this chair is gonna fit in really well and look really nice. You've got a nice range of colors to choose between and the fabric that they've used is nice and soft. And it's also a comfortable chair as well. It does feel like it's not got the best build quality, but I didn't have any problems with support and ergonomics I felt like I was comfortable while using the chair and it also has a good range of adjustability as well however when it comes to comparing it to other chairs on the market which is something I do as a reviewer because I'm trying to give you guys buying advice I think this chair is just not really hitting the spot for me it's 250 pounds so it is still quite an expensive chair um, however when you compare it to other chairs that I've reviewed I don't think it's going to be my favorite it's it's pretty far off something like a secret labs or a noble chairs they are that little bit more expensive but i think it is definitely a case of you get what you pay for and even though this chair definitely looks the part didn't really have any problems with comfort i just think the overall build quality and things isn't really there and it's not what i would expect from corsair because i tend to think of them as a company that does put a lot of effort into kind of like build quality and things to create some good products uh this chair doesn't really hit the spot for me unfortunately it does come with a two-year warranty um but i just don't think it's going to last as long as the other chairs and i do think of a chair or a piece of furniture as it's more of an investment really it's not something like a keyboard that there's new tech and things coming out all the time you want to get the latest version so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't last 10 years something like a chair it is an investment because you know you're going to keep it for a long period of time and i'm not sure this chair is going to last unfortunately if you like this video from kit guru make sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from kit guru please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also please remember to press the little bell icon as well mm -hmm.